A word for the week from Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. As Christians, we have all struggled with the problem of unanswered prayer. And more to the point, when we struggle like this, we stop praying. And we don't stick around long enough to find out if God is going to open the door and answer our request. After Jesus finished praying, one of the disciples asked that he would teach them how to pray. Jesus taught them the Lord's Prayer and continued his teaching by using this parable. Luke 11, 5 to 8. Then he said to them, suppose one of you had a friend and he goes to him at midnight and says, friend, lend me three loaves of bread because a friend of mine on a journey has come to me and I have nothing to set before him. Then the one in size answers, don't bother me, the door is already locked and my children are in with me, with me in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, though he will not get up and give him the bread because he is his friend, yet because of the man's boldness, he will get up and give him as much as he needs. The friend at midnight did not go away empty-handed. He got the bread that he came for. The one who keeps asking, seeking and knocking will receive what he needs. Later on in chapter 11, the story of the father and his son makes the same point. The boy will get what he asks of his father. The comparison between the earthly father and the heavenly father is the main point. How much more will the heavenly father respond favourably to those who ask him? Our Lord wants us to come to the father and to keep on coming until he gives us what we need. Apart from the friendship, the host will obtain what he went for because of his persistent boldness. He is without shame as he persistently asks. There is a great need and there is a lack of resources to meet the need. It is this that is the driving force in the persistent asking. So the first lesson for us is this. In every situation, we must recognise our desperate need and call on God for help. The second lesson the need of this, in this case, was not directly personal. It was the need of someone else. Why we should go boldly to God to find help for our need. We should keep in mind that the main thrust of prayer is not just for our needs, but to further God's kingdom. The third lesson, the man already had an established relationship before he went to his friend's house at midnight. They had a personal relationship. If you know God as a friend, you will feel no discomfort in banging on his door at midnight when you have to. There is a contrast between the man in bed and God. The man in bed was asleep whereas God never sleeps. The man in bed did not want to be disturbed, whereas our request never disturbs God. Our midnight requests will not strain our relationship with God. Jesus' point is that we should be boldly persistent in bringing our request to God at any hour and in any situation. If the friend responds to the midnight call because of the disturbing and persistent knocking, how much more will your friend in heaven respond to your call? God is not like the neighbour in bed where you have to keep knocking because he's reluctant to give you what you need. In fact, God doesn't answer according to our timetable. He knows when our Strength and resources are sufficiently tried. He knows the right time to grant our request. 
our friendship with God should be clear that we can depend on him and not and he will not turn us away. Therefore we pray until he gives. He is not promising to meet our every whim or fancy. He is promising what is good for us spiritually. Therefore we can approach him with boldness and trust and, in, and he invites us to disturb him and to keep on knocking until we receive what the Holy Spirit has to pour out on us. Keep on asking and seeking and knocking. Jesus promised that we will not be sent away empty-handed. Approach God with bold persistence, knowing that he is our loving Father. He will give you what is good for you spiritually, because it is impossible for him to do any other.